Well, hello, it's me again. It's a bit windier today, so I've got the big scarf on. Anyway, as I did a video a short while ago talking about how you tell how old a tree is, you know, at a guesstimate, I thought I'd do one today on how you tell how tall a tree is. This one's quite good fun for the kids, or an adult if they're flexible enough. So what you do is this. You stand with your back to the tree, a little bit of a distance from it, and then you bend down and look between your knees, basically look between your legs back at the tree. Now, as I said, not so easy for people like me who've got a bit of a beer gut or people who've got a bad back, but kids are quite flexible and they can do this. So as I said, you bend over and you look through your own legs at the tree behind you. And what you do is you shuffle forwards or backwards until the top of the tree is just visible below your crotch, basically. Then stand upright and measure the distance between where you're currently standing and the tree. And you'll find that that's about the same as the height of the tree. It really is, honest. Good boy. Okay, so for the beer belly brigade, you know, the people like me, or the people who just aren't as flexible as they used to be, there is a more scientific method, uh, which would involve something called a clinometer, which is a device that measures inclines. It can be a physical device, or you can make your own, or there's in fact a couple of apps you can download for free, which will do it for you. But if you haven't got any of that stuff, you can do it with just a square of paper. Let me show you. You get your square piece of paper and you fold it corner to corner. So what you create is a triangle that's got one straight side that's longer than the other two sides. Of course, that long straight side, as you'll remember from school, is called the hypotenuse. So what you do is you face the hypotenuse towards you and then place the top of the triangle lining up with the top of the tree. And then you follow the line down the hypotenuse until it reaches the ground, which will be probably somewhere just behind where you're standing. And again, that point will be the same distance from the tree as the tree is high. And that's of course why mathematicians don't have to do yoga. So there you go, that's today's lesson. Now all you've got to do is go away and practice your bending over. I'm going to start right now. See you soon, bye.